All right, this is an electromagnetic uh, levitation device that I just put together here. And it spun off of uh, the granddad's last uh, <clears throat> pulse motor using those emoji magnets that uh, were a lot of fun to play with. But uh, anyway, it's a long story, but I'm going to give a link to a video that got me going again on this uh, electromagnetic levitation that uses a Hall sensor and a MOSFET. Uh, and a coil of wire, and that's about all there is to it. There aren't any other components. There's a one uh, one k resistor, and that's about it. And then you use it a five volt power supply to drive it with. It has to be a stable five volt power supply to make this work. But um, anyway, I, I got a kick out of this uh, research in this. Uh, I've done a bunch of this years ago and different ways to do it. And some very complicated, some very simple, but this was a real simple way to do it. And I'll give a link to the guy's video that showed how to 3D print the structure and even the coiled uh, bobbin and the whole bit. And uh, in his um, design, he used to use a tiny little breadboard, no soldering at all. And I thought, what a great project for somebody that didn't want to really solder anything up, just wanted to hit print, print the thing out, and then put it together with these components. And you get one of these um, magnetic levitation, electromagnetic levitation devices. And uh, so anyway, I'll give a link to the video. It was a real good video. It's like the Instructables uh, one from years and years ago that uh, Slider and I both replicated, basically. And it's just a magnet being suspended by an electromagnet and um, that's all there is to it. Uh, it's tricky but uh, if you take your time you can get this thing to work and it's pretty amazing. Touchy, touchy little thing. But anyway, yeah, I, I, I've done a lot of uh, different things in the last week or two, but I just wanted to show this uh, this little electromagnetic levitation device that uh, just used a few components and put it on a little breadboard, and then uh, you can 3D print this structure or build it up however you want it, and then use 5 volt, a USB 5 volt power supply, and off you go. Pretty darn neat. Thanks for watching.